In this video we're going to talk about what to do when things doesn't go as you wanted them to. First and foremost we have to remember that there is always ever now. If you right now are having an experience, you're making some choices and things didn't go as you planned and then you felt bad then you're actually having the exact same experience as you would have if it was in regards to something that happened in the past. If it happened in the past and you felt bad about it and it hasn't been dealt with, then you're still feeling bad about it here and now. And the approach to dealing with those type of bad feelings, shadows, inner child, will always be the same, regardless of if it happened in the past or if it's happening now. The inner child feels bad because it thinks it has to. It thinks that's the way to perceive whatever experience or situation it was having. But if the inner child can look up to source, understand that source will always come with a perfectly great answer to how to feel about that thing, then the inner child doesn't need to be so stubborn anymore. It's not going to hold on to those ways of thinking about things. So if you were to be honest with yourself, what do you feel bad about? What is upsetting you? You see, there is so many scenarios in life where we could feel bad, where we could feel negative, where we could be disappointed. But you see, they're all just shadows. It's all just the inner child believing something. And if we remove the inner child and we just have the source way of perceiving things, then you're going to be happy and content. And it's fine. Source would say it's best to be happy now. Let's be happy now. That's always going to be the case. And it might bring other mindsets into awareness. But for that to even be possible, for it to be possible to even recognize, the inner child needs to hold things with an open hand. It can't be very active. And that really is the main thing to focus on. To make sure that the inner child understands that the source guidance is there and that it's going to be great guidance. It's going to be as good as it gets. And if the inner child can know that, then it has no good reason to hold on to beliefs that it got somewhere else. It's going to be ready to perceive things as a source perceives it. You would really want to understand what was being said here right now. You would really want to understand this topic. And like I said, there are so many opportunities to be upset with things, to be disappointed, but I really can't emphasize enough how it's all just the same. We could talk about so many of the different scenarios where you could feel negative like that, but the same goes for all of them. It is the inner child that perceives and believes something 
and if you remove the inner child and it was just source having its way of perceiving it and it would be free it would be absolutely free and whatever you had done that wasn't well good enough or that wasn't great or that was wrong it would all disappear that's not how we perceive it in neutrality it all just is and it's fine and if the inner child comes back and feels that it wasn't fine it's not neutral about it it's disappointed well then it should start listening to source because then it would be free but then let's be a little critical what if it actually wasn't good enough i mean sure yeah let's be neutral about it the inner child says but it's not good enough sure we can be neutral we can say that it's good enough but still i mean there is a good reason to feel bad about this well is there really maybe you're reaching for too much in terms of time frame how quickly something so great could be accomplished maybe i've done great till now with the work you have put in with the problems you have had to overcome with the situation being the way it is or maybe you didn't perform so well given the situation well it's probably for a reason maybe something was too challenging but what would source think about it how would source want the inner child to think about it one thing is for sure and that is if the inner child can hold its beliefs with an open hand then it can access some mindsets some ways of perceiving the situation and they will be freeing in the end of the day we need to remember that if it is upsetting you then it is being perceived in a lower frequency way and source always have high consciousness highest way of perceiving it and it will always be helpful the inner child on its own in a world filled with different ways of perceiving things could not do as good as source and it really is just about surrendering letting the inner child understand really comprehend that it needs someone to look up to and source is the perfect role model in any situation always way better than anything else that could ever exist so if you benefited from this video kindly consider becoming a supporter this is all possible thanks to the supporters abundance health and prosperity to you thank you so much